What is going on everybody? It is I, the conservative coin collector. And yesterday, I showed you the coin collection that I bought. It's from a co-worker and a friend of mine. And I want to show you the three dollar coins that I got. That were actually... The, this, these dollar coins are the reason I paid what I paid for the, for the uh, collection. I... I actually got four dollar coins, and the fourth dollar coin that I got that I'm not going to show is an Ike dollar from 1972. Those things are usually just face value, and they're not even silver, so it's not really worth uh, taking a look at them. But, I'll turn you around and show you the uh, first coin I have for you. Turn you around here. I have my three coins. The three dollar coins that make my collection like that much more special. Every coin I got is special, but these three coins are what make it. The, the, they make it. Uh, let's just say I could have paid a lot more for these, but my coworker in front of us billed. She wanted to sell, and. Now that I have them, they're going to be in a good home for the foreseeable future. The first coin I have for you is a very good condition a Morgan Dollar. Zoom in on the Morgan Dollar here. You can see everything in detail. It looks like a coin that's 200 years newer. That's how old that's the condition it's in. You can see on the back, it's, you can see the O. Everything looks like it just came off the mint. Of course, you can see on the eagle's breast, you can kind of see some uh, dark spots, but it just adds character to it. And uh, 1887 O, what is there, what information do we have on 1887 O? Well, I can tell you 1887 was a long time ago. To give an idea how long ago it was, Grover Cleveland was president. And, oh, you see this map here of the United States I have on my uh, screen? This is from the 1884 presidential election. And 1887 was only a couple of years later. But look at how the gray weren't even states yet. The red and the blue were states, but the gray weren't. There were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 states yet to come to the Union. To give an idea how long ago that was. It's absolutely crazy. But what about the coin itself? Some information on this Morgan Dollar. The O here means it was minted at the now defunct New Orleans Mint. It's 90% silver and 10% copper. George T. Morgan was a designer and engraver. Hence by it's the Morgan dollar. And 11,550,000 were minted. It's funny. Doing a little research on grading. And doing research on Morgan dollars themselves and how valuable they are. If this was like fresh from the mint uncirculated museum quality. It'd be a $2,100 coin. But I would rate this EF. 40, which is extremely fine and I put this at about a $60 coin So if I was to sell this coin, I'd sell it for a little over $60 But just take a look at its beauty Wow The second dollar I have for you is another Morgan dollar from 1896 What? happened in 1896. William McKinley ran for president in 1896 and won. And we actually had several more states. But Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Alaska and Hawaii weren't states yet. So one to five states had yet to join the Union. So America had done a lot of growing. But it also had a lot more to go. And let's take a look at the reverse of my uh, 50 cents. Let's get, 
Yeah, you can see the O on the back of this one. You can see this one doesn't have the uh, the stain or spot on the breast of the eagle there. But it's got the O mint mark, meaning it was minted in the now defunct New Orleans mint mark. And this one is just as beautiful. What? I want to say the front of it, you can see a little less detail. It's still in remarkable condition for a Morgan dollar. But what information can I tell you about it? There were 4.9 of these. Not 4.9, but 4.9 million of these minted. And if this was like MS-65 or better condition, this would be a six-figure coin. It would be over $186,000 if it was brilliantly uncirculated and looked like it had just been minted yesterday. But unfortunately, that's not the case. If it was, and I found that out before recording, or if I found it out during recording, you would never see this video. This video wouldn't exist. But... What would I rate this? I would rate it between very fine and extremely fine, which is VF20 and EF40. It's it's definitely circulated. You could definitely tell it has wear and tear on it. And I'm sure if I put it under my microscope, I'd see scratches from countertops it's been on. But it's still in remarkably good condition for a Morgan dollar. Of course, there are millions and millions of these out there. Like I said, 4.9 million of these were minted, so they're all going to be in various condition. So I rate this between extremely fine, very fine, and extremely fine, which that's between 60 and 68 dollars, which that puts it at about 120 bucks for both coins if I was to sell them. But it also like to think this actually could have been a six-figure coin. If it was an uncirculated condition, that's kind of crazy to think. The last coin I have for you was my peace dollar. Now, on my last video, if you watched it, I said there were like six through hundred and something thousand minted. It was three hundred dollar, three hundred dollar coin of this condition. But I took a closer look at it, and it turns out I was wrong. I was wrong. I screwed up on the price and the year of the coin. It is not a 1928, but it's a 1923. One, I have horrible vision to begin with. And two, it's in rough shape. So I put it under my microscope and saw the year. And it's a 1923 and not a 1928. And there were 30,800,000 is minted. I would say this is between fine and very fine condition, which is... Between $42 and $47 if I wanted to sell it. They're 90% silver. And they're emitted in Philadelphia. because And they have no mint mark. No. It's the back of the piece dollar. Peace. The Eagle. United States. E Pluribus Unum. You can still see every all the details, it's just in a rougher shape than the Morgans. Which I find kind of funny, because the Morgans are older, but the Peace Dollar from 1923 is definitely in rough shape. Let's see, 1923. I think the president was Warren G. Harding. I gotta do a little uh, Google search on that one. Yes. Warren G. Harding was president for part of 1923, but then uh, while in office, he had suffer a fatal, he suffered a fatal heart attack, and then Calvin Coolidge took over as president. And for my research, Calvin Coolidge was actually a pretty good president. And then Herbert Hoover, Herbert Hoover, I heard, was also a pretty, he was a good president in the wrong time. Because he was blamed for the Great Depression after the Roaring, roaring Twenties. And there's a lot of history when it comes to that. And I'm not going to get into that right now. But uh, yeah. Those were my $3 coins that I had to show you. 
and uh, they made, they are so worth it. My collection is really neat, really special. I love all those coins that I got from it. But those are the three coins that make it what it is. When I spent on the whole collection, I could have easily spent on just these three coins alone. And I could show you what else I got. Turn you around. What I could have spent easily on these three coins. This could have easily been my whole Christmas present list. I also spent on all these. Let's just say it's worth every penny. My name is a conservative coin collector. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share at the bell icon. Until next time, I'm signing off. So long on YouTube.